Okay, so Pawan is asking a very interesting question. He is asking that in cases of poisoning, when we give activated charcoal, so after giving activated charcoal, how much time we should uh, wait so that we can suction it back and uh, when we should do a gastric lavage once we have given the activated charcoal. So understand two things very, very important. It First, the activated charcoal is always given after you have done the gastric lavage. The purpose of gastric lavage is to reduce the amount of toxin which is there in the stomach or GI tract and sh we should pull back by the lavage. And then once we have done that, we will we give the activated charcoal so that it goes into the GI tract and adsorbs, not absorb, adsorb, A-D-S-O-R-B, it adsorbs the toxins or poisons on the surface of the activated charcoal so that it doesn't get absorbed into the body. So the purpose is to absorb the remaining toxins in the GI tract. So it is always given once you have completed the gastric lavage. Secondly, whether we need to suction back the activated charcoal or not? So no, simple answer is no. We should keep the activated charcoal there in the GI tract. It will continue to absorb the toxin whichever remain there. We should not suction back. That's what the guidelines say. So two things important. Only after the gastric lavage is completed, if you if you uh, intend to give a gastric lavage, if you are not intending to give a gastric lavage, you can give activated charcoal. But after activated charcoal, you should not do, do the gastric lavage but, because it will dilute uh, the whole point. So once if you have given active, uh, gastric lavage, once you have completed that, then you need, need to give activated charcoal. And once the activated charcoal is there in the place, leave it there. Don't suction back. So do read more about it. Thank you.